Hey everybody, I am back with another star. We'll be looking at Jada concerning the Red Talk. Will she be doing this show? What's the energies around that? Uh, what's the energies around the things she will be saying? Confessing? Is she, is, a, is she about to do this? Is it about to be real talk? There are some confusing energies around this. The conversation is going on right now as we speak with her producers, with the people that work with her on the show. Um, I also see people walking away from her. I think that is the people she know, her family and friends. I think they are keeping their hands out of it this time. Even her mom speaking less than probably what she would have before. I just see a lot of people in the kitchen trying to figure out how to make this happen and how to make it happen so that it benefits the show and protect her at the same time, but be real at the same time and bring a closure to it. <laughs> they trying to do a lot. And I even see the people who are a part of her cluster, her loved ones, the ones who are close to her, I see them going upstairs. I kind of see them maybe concerned, praying for her deeply, but yet hands off on the situation. Yeah, I kind of feel that. So the core has been pushed back. And she's handling this, I want to say one-on-one, but it's really her and the crew. That's who she's handling this with the majority. This conversation is not happening in a broad way with the family. Because they're fearful of saying something that could discourage her. I think they're holding their positions right now. I just feel like everybody is holding back. So that's one thing I see in the spirit. I couldn't feel, I don't feel a lot of feelings from her. I don't feel it. I don't. However, what will she be talking about on the show? What does she want to do with the show? What's the purpose of the show? What is she coming to heal about? What will she say about August? What is she, what is her purpose? What is her intent? And it's very wishy-washy. Because I have her boldly saying that I'm ready to close this chapter. I'm ready to end it. When we heard, I think it was a post and videos made about her saying, I'm taking myself to the table. I believe that. I believe that she truly, truly intend to end this once and for all. I truly, truly believe that she wants to heal. I don't know what it looks like, though. But she's there to heal. She wants to close the chapter. She wants to, to heal. She wants to release some things. But it feels like she can't. There's a restriction here. And it's not from people around her. No one runs Jada. Jada runs herself. So if there's a problem, she made it and she cleans it up and she deals with it. No one runs her. She's not being pushed around. There's not a head or a string attached to her. I have her speaking with hands. Saying, let's close it out. Let's deal with this. Let's heal. Let's get it out. Let's get it over with. But in a spirit, it's a different conversation. And this conversation is, you can't. You can't. You cannot do that. Because there is a victim here. That's how it felt. There is someone here who is not stable. There is someone who is not upright. It's someone who is not 
clear about themselves. It's someone who's fighting with themselves. It almost feels like if, that she's not allowed to close this chapter and to heal in front of us because she she can't hurt him no more than what he's already been hurt that's what I see on earth as it is in heaven I just feel this detachment I see her saying let's do this let's go let's get it ready now let's heal let's close don't know what that means yet we can get into it but in the spirit it's a different conversation so I have to separate these it's a whole different conversation. The conversation in the spirit is no, no, he's not well enough. He's not, his, his, he's not where he needs to be. He's fighting with his own self right now. You can't do that. Let's see. You know, I had pulled some other cards, but I'm picking them up now because they're not needed. This is the conversations that we need to have about this. We need to know what she's trying to close out. Yeah, so that's what we're going to take a look at. <laughs> you know, believe it or not. I'm really not that interested in her, <laughs> but it's so much bigger than her, than, than her, than, than August. I see, uh, um, a cluster that is trying to erupt. I see a cluster. I see many, many things tied to this situation. These people. Jada is connected to so many other people's lives. I see a cluster and it kind of makes me feel like the same energies around um, <clears throat> other cliques in Hollywood and has this feeling of we erupt this situation, expose this situation, then everything can connect the dots and everything around it makes sense. If we could just get this to open all the way up. That's what it feels like. Yeah. So I think that's why I'm drawn to it. Let's see. She says that I really do want to do this. I really want to do this show. I really want to close out some things. Let's find out what she wants to close out. What does she want to end? I don't even know who the backstabber is at this point because she speaks so firm. She's so strong. She said, I want to bring clarity. I want to bring a truth. I'm ready to close this chapter. I'm ready to bring the truth. I am ready to tell you all what is going on. In the mind of this situation. In the minds. She's ready. She says that she wants to close the chapter. She wants to bring out the truth. She wants to clear everything up. She wants it out. She's been patient. She's been calm. She has been trying not to erupt. She believes that she has kept herself in a, in a great statue for, for so long. I want to bring the truth about this. I want to bring an idea. I want to bring a truth. I want to bring clarity. I want to bring a whole new thought to what is happening. I'm ready to close out all of these ten of swords with one. I was watching 
um, I think she called herself Kaya the Mouth. She said she was ready to strike people out. Pins and bowling balls. That's how this feels. I'm ready to take a strike at this. I'm ready to bring this information in to cancel out everything, every chapter, everything that's being said. I've been calm. I've been patient. It's disturbing her. Decision is made. It also can be a Sagittarius involved. Or a Sagittarius could be the reason why she's ready to hit a strike on this one. It could be a Sagittarius. Could be the, the meaning and the motive to why she wants to close this chapter out. And she made a decision within herself to do that. That could be the reason why she want to do it. She already know this is the path that she has to take. She has to clear this out. She's very serious and very strong about it. I'm actually surprised of the strength and the seriousness of being willing to put herself on the table at this point. She believes that this is a part of her life path. She believes that she cannot move forward if she does not do this. But see, this, these are all strong thoughts. This is so believable right here. Why I don't feel convinced. Even after these strong thoughts. It's time to close this chapter. I'm ready to bring the truth. I'm ready to bring a new thought and a new idea to this situation. I've been patient and calm. And now is the time. Or because it is Sagittarius, I have to do this. I made a decision that this is a part of what I have to do for my life. And if I don't do it for my life and my life's journey, while I'm hitting the table, I'm not going to be able to move forward. See, good talk. Very convincing. But something in my spirit just feels a little funny. She says, I'm ready to heal this. I'm ready to bring healing to this situation. I want to bring healing to this situation. I want to do this. Because this has everybody sad. This is an unhappy thing that's going on right now. This is affecting households. And I mean households with an S. I want to bring healing. I want to do this because this is interrupting people's happiness. And this is interrupting different households, multiple households. I'm ready to take action. My goodness. Look how powerful that is. Look how powerful that is. She constantly convincing me. Why do we need these many cards of convincing? I offer myself. I sacrifice myself to this situation. It's almost like she's reading my deck to me. But it's something about it. It's not time. It's something about this is not time. It has nothing to do with her. It's not about her. This is not about will. This is not about people in the spirit realm. This is not the time to do everything she just proclaimed. It's not the time. Why is not the time? Why is not the time? Why is not the time? 
It's just not the time. Just not the time. She's ready to, to cut her own head off for this moment. But in the spirit, it's not the time. I'm trying to see what is not the time for. What is not the time for? It's not the time to offer this. It's not the time. This is not a part of the journey. This is not it. This is not the journey. This is not the path. This is not it. I'm done with it. But there's a restriction. There's a restriction here. It's not the time to offer. This is not the journey. And it's also a restriction here. There's a restriction in dealing with this air sign. Because they're still fighting with themselves. Why do I believe that it's a life on the line? It's too fragile. Why is this restricted? Wow. Two cards came out like swimmers, like surfers, like two people surfing side by side. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's how they came out like surfers. They jumped out the two cards, one on top of the other, and they jumped out like surfers. Like they were showing us a, a water show and they both did a leap together. Is they about to leap together? Leap? Is a connection about to be made? You're restricted from talking about August because there's some type of connection is about to be made? There's an offer here? Some type of event is about to happen. It's almost like saying it. I can see it in two different ways. You're restricted for talking about this Gemini, August. You're restricted from talking about this because he needs to be loved. He needs to be protected. He needs comfort. He needs love at this time. There's a tower event, tower event upon him. There's some type of destiny, miracle. There's something going on. He doesn't need that. He needs this love. Because he's not in his right mind or because he's not. Let's see. It'll affect him more. It will steal something from his life. It almost feels like she can't talk about him. She's restricted. It, it just feels that way. Because it'll take something from his core. It would affect him in a major way. It's to protect him. It's not to protect her. All right. I'm done with that. She has no option to do the show, but to do it. I asked, will she be doing a show? Yeah, she will. She definitely will be doing a show to bring some type of clarity or maybe a clarity in her relationship with her fans. But I don't think that she did not think. I know she's not allowed to speak in depth on behalf of him. She's not allowed in the spirit. 
This has nothing to do with nobody. So, I'm excited to see what's going to be said. She's coming in, ready to bring truth. Without a shadow of a doubt, whatever that truth is. It looks like she's very clear. It looks like she's very honest or at least honest with herself. She's sacrificing herself and her life and her family and everything. She's willing to put herself on the table. But she's not going to have to go that deep. She's not going that deep. She's not going to have to. Because she's not allowed to. There are certain things that she cannot say. Because some kind of way, spirit is protecting him. She's restricted from going in depth. She's restricted from saying certain things. It's just not time. Which brings me to the feeling that I had. There are clusters of evil going on. We always knew that. There's clusters and secrets and things that's happening underground but in our face and if one thing is exposed everything can trickle down you see it you see it in hollywood you see it in all these sexual activities you see it in these groups of people from jeffrey i can just keep going down the line you see it bill cosby r kelly government clusters and clusters where people make vows to protect each other, to protect themselves. And I felt that type of thing going on with this. But I do see someone here, Jada, that's willing to do it all, willing to sacrifice everything. So it says. But spirit doesn't support that right now because it's not time. It's just not the timing. Everything is not aligned. It's not finished. It's not done. More things need to exist. More things need to live. More things need to happen. More coverage or covering needs to happen in this situation. It's not the time to rock it. It's not the time to erupt it in that kind of way. It's too many houses on the line. Sometimes we forget that when we are trying to expose things. There's a price. It's a price to pay to tell the truth. Telling the truth is really not that easy. And um, I do want to give out special prayers to him. I really do feel like it's not coming out to protect him. And I don't know what that means. So, as always, we just let some time go past. I allow these energies to maneuver around. And we can come back and check again. Alrighty, bye-bye.